everyone, lovely day we're having. You all look so beautiful today. You mind if I step in? What a beautiful morning to be alive. God bless United States Postal Service. Thank you for your service. I've already taken a peek in here, but my God, I am happy. I've, I bought these a while back. And I've, they've been sitting a while, but I had a peek and I'm like, holy shit, i got to get into this. Now, the weird thing is, these, what these are, is all I bought. But I assume the guy somehow recognized me and knew I was going to put it on my channel. So he sent me, <laughs> he sent me some extra stuff. Now, there's some big controversy uh, with eBay sellers. Not with this stuff in particular, but what they like to do is do these random bundles, kind of like the Japanese cubes that I, I used to get. But when they know they're sending one to a YouTuber, they'll make sure the cube has pulls that are better than the money they've paid. But when they normally send them out, there's no way they ever send profitable card bundles. But they know the YouTuber is going to shout it out, so they intentionally give them a bunch of nice stuff so they can, um, you know, potentially get some follow-up good sales. Uh, and I've also seen- OH FUCK! WHAT THE FUCK AM I DOING?! Oh! I thought I'd open one Evolutions pack to start the day since we got good luck on that Charizard. And we got the Gyarados Hollow! Okay. Mmm! I'll take that. So anyway, in the past there's also been um, those shitty eBay accounts that send YouTubers messages and say, Hey, can we send you a bunch of our stuff for free? You can open it on your channel, we'll send you a bunch, and you just promote our eBay. And maybe they'll even pay them like a couple of hundred or something like that. Anyway, uh, for those reasons alone, I do just want to say, if I ever buy anything from eBay, I'm sorry. My intention is to buy it and open it on my channel. I don't care if you add extra stuff in hopes that I'll show it off and then you put your eBay business card or YouTube channel business card in there. I do apologize, but I'm just going to, I'm going to relish in the fact that you've sent me some extra goodies that I did not ask for and I wish you well on your journey. <laughs> you sent like six stickers and two business cards and, and another sticker all with the YouTube channel on it. But it looks like his name is Willie. Uh, this stuff is all stuff I never asked for or, like, it's just sent me these extra free cards. And this is, this is just the, the, the tip of the iceberg. We've got a promo Arcanine. That's from the year 2000. And, oh, oh we've got the promo Eevee. This is in really nice condition as well. I'm not saying these are like, you know, extremely great cards or anything, but holy shit. This is, uh, this is a bunch of, okay, well, you know what? There is some pretty nice stuff in here. Gee, okay. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Willie, for this. Oh! Was I supposed to receive this stuff? Because this is, this has been sent to PSA by him and returned with no grade, no charge, because they didn't have a holder or anything, but he's, he sent away what I assume is this, um, completely mint Hitmonchan. Jesus Christ. Have I received these by accident? Am I supposed to have possession of this? It gets better. It gets a lot better. So we've got this uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back Super Psychic Pokemon uh, Pokemon the Movie card. Still in its wrapping. Uh, the thing is, a lot of people think all their Egyptian Mews and all their, their pro old promo movie cards are worth heaps. And like, oh, I've got mine in the plastic. There is so many of these out there. Like, tons. People have an abundance of them. You can find people on eBay that, that used to work at the cinema or something, and they just have stacks and stacks and stacks. The value of the promo cards is usually very low. But Jesus Christ, look at all this free stuff. Alright, without further ado, let me show you what I wanted to show you. Ta-da! Some, um... Jesus Christ, 1996 original base set Japanese packs, Gem Mint 10. Perfect, perfect rating, perfect condition. I, for some reason, they were quite expensive, but I, I bought every single one that he had, which was all three. I don't know why, I just thought it was a, a really neat thing to have. Obviously, I'm not going to crack this open, but I have opened this from this to show you. But look at the original Japanese artwork. Look how rough it is. It looks like a um, a contest entry, like a college kid's drawing entry, a design fan contest or something. It's so cool. But yeah, that's what the art on the um, 20th anniversary Japanese box was uh, reminiscent of. It was paying its respects to the OG. So anyway, this is all I bought from the guy, and he sent me all those extra cards. And on top of that, 
Look at this. Look at this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's a jungle. It's a fucking English jungle booster first edition. And I don't know what else is in here. I haven't opened this up. But okay, thanks. Holy shit. Now, the, the problem with these, if you ever buy loose ones from eBay, don't, for one. They are weighable. People weigh them from a box, then they sell these for a lot loose. Because it's what a normal person would be able to afford. And they want that nostalgia hit. And they get weighted packs. Which is where they will open a full box for themselves. They'll weigh all the good ones, they'll take them all out, and they'll sell... These shitty ones on eBay. Okay, there we go. What else do we have here? Okay, now we've just got some random stuff. Some sun and moon. Two sun and moon packs. Two very different tiers there. Let's open up this sun and moon pack as a nice little entree and see what we can get from this. There is the code card for you guys. I think it's one, two, three to the front. We don't take the back off, I don't think. There is no energy on the back. I don't think. Um, but <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if, wait, there was an energy on the back. We got Cloyster. Wouldn't it be funny if he weighed the pack in my advantage and he sent it to me as a nice little, uh, nice little present to get the, get the, the blood pumping. Um, all right. Anyway, let's see what we can get from this one. We've got jack shit from the first one. Oh my God. It's back to seeing that ugly fucking purple Persian. I hate its head. Got double colorless reverse, and for the end card, we've... What am I doing? We've got Lantern. So far, absolute trash. Hopefully, all the luck is hidden in this. Do I open this? Maybe I should just keep it. Fuck it, you guys deserve it. I guess I'll open it. Oh my god. This probably brings back a lot of memories uh, for some of you. A lot of you probably just see people talking about how they're nostalgic about this stuff. Look, this is back when uh, Wizards of the Coast did the English sets. All right. I, oh my God, it's just like, it's so brittle. We have a peak, oh, these are all first edition. It's so nice. I don't know what the trick is. Uh, let's just try, oh my God. Let's just try, these feel so thick and quality. Let's just try two to the front. Oh God, the feeling of the cardboard. It, oh fuck. I just, wait, no, I didn't. I didn't, that's not the end one. That's the, uh, that's the Uncommon, Butterfree, that's the Uncommon, Executor, that's the Pikachu. I hope we didn't fuck that up, I hope we have a nice surprise in here. There is much less chance of getting a Hollow or anything like that. Um, hopefully we do, but I feel like uh, it's going to be a weighted pack. There's no way to tell. Maybe I did it right. We're coming up on the end. Oh, God damn, wait, 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 no, that is it, that is it, so it was three to the front, we've got Taurus there, this, um, Snorlax is the rare, we did not get the holofoil version, <sighs> but we had a crack, and I'm glad we had a crack, as you guys know, I am trying to complete my Crimson Invasion Master Set, and I recently entered a break not really sure what it's called, a card break, uh, through Cherry, which is where I usually buy my packs. There's always eight slots. Everyone gets assigned a certain energy type or trainer or code card, and then they open like six booster boxes, and every single type that lines up with the type that you got randomly rolled, they send to you. So I got water. So I think we'd probably be safe to say that I finished off the water slots uh, for the master set. But let's just have a look what we've got here. We've got Oct- Oh, fuck. What is this? God, it's a lot. But yeah, I think it's like $80 to enter. But, um, if you happen to get something which is going to be, you know, it got the- the- the t Oh! Nice little hollow melodic there. Reverse Mamo Swine. Yeah, if you happen to get, like, you know, every set has cards which are obviously worth a lot more than others. Oh, nice red eyes! Fucking hollow, baby! Say if there was certain dark Full Art GXs and Hyper Rares and that. That, oh, two G Reg Ices, uh, that were worth a shit ton, and you happen to roll dark, you'd be fucking set, because you'd be uh, making your money back very easily. I'm not sure about water. Another Reg Ice. I'm not sure how much um, GX things were in Crimson Invasion that were water. Oh, there's the uh, reverse non-hollow version, and we've got a Staryu on the end there. 
God, it's just weird opening a full pack or reverse. All the water. Oh, we ain't using a rubber, girl. Take that off. We got Pillow Swine. Another nice melodic. So you're probably going to see all the uh, the hollow waters that are in here. I'm assuming it's just melodic and regice. There's another regice. Feebass reverse. Corefish reverse. Regice reverse. Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. Uh, reverse. We've got another nice melodic. This is one of my favorite cards from the set. Fucking sick hollow. Magikarp. Staryu. Magikarp. Ooh, have we seen Starmie? Starmie reverse. Swinab reverse. Staryu reverse. Crawdont reverse. Feebas reverse. Look at this big fuck off stack of waters. Now, let's see if we got our money's worth with the GXs. Was it, is it just, oh, that's so sick. Is it just, look at the splash. Look at the cum shot at the top of the card. Is it just uh, Gyarados that's in here? And is there a hyper rare version? And is there a full art version? Anyway, we've got Gyarados there with Waterfall, Draconic Disaster, and Dreadstorm GX. Only costs one energy, discards an energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. It's a pretty shitty GX move, but what do I know? Whoa, look at that! Oil spill glare. All right, what else do we got? I bet it's all it's all Gyarados. A second Gyarados, and what do we have? I think there's only one more. Oh! Oh! Where are you at? Where are you at? Bloody hell! They opened six booster boxes and only got one Gyarados GX full art. God damn! At least there was at least there was GXs for the type that I got, but that is nice. I'll take that. Oh, this is a really weird episode. I don't know if you guys are bored or not. I've got a big stack of evolutions uh, still in the cupboard. I might just fire off uh, three of these really quickly before we end the episode. But uh, let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing. Three to the front. And that's all we do. Kakuna, Matata. We've got Slowbro. Brock squinting at the camera. Diglett coming out of the ground. We've got Voltorb. Energy, Fire Energy, Volpix. We've got a Charmander Reverse. And for the end, whoo, a nice little shitty fucking gay cunt Beedrill. I hate my life. I hope I fucking die. Please, God, have mercy if you are above. Don't let me wake up tomorrow unless this next packet is a Redeemer. And I can get an Amen on that. Let's pull this apart. Let's take off the code card and give that to you guys upside down. Three to the front. That's how. What the fuck am I doing? Bucket eggs, baby! Let's see. We've got Poliwhirl, Full Heel, Weedle, Machop lifting up the big ass rock, Magnetic, Ponita, Star You Reverse, Fat Down! Oh, shit! It's Gold Border Charizard GX! Look at those flames, son! Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yo, that is nice. Number 12 of 108. Fuck, that is nice. Why is it gold? That looks so good. Okay, well, it looks like I live to see another day because that was definitely a redeemer. I've had shit luck um, with evolutions. It's been the biggest run and then all of a sudden I'm pulling nice packs. I should just keep doing evolutions until I hit a dry patch again. Uh, this is probably just going to be shit. We got Charmeleon Reverse, and for the end, da 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 da! Ah, oh, I thought it was hollow for a second. Just Mewtwo standard garbage version. Wow! Thanks so much for watching. All right, so I can only assume the water ends up there, but check out if we go back a page. All Reverse, baby, and we've got that's where the fire ends, and then we've got this sexy Gyarados in that slot. But look at all those. Here's these beautiful packs if you want to see them again. Um, please click on screen to see uh, another video. And I'll see you guys in two or three days. I love that gold.